Hello, my name is Bill. Today we're going to take a look at the EX165C from Arai. This device allows you to send your HDMI signal up to 164 feet, that's 50 meters, from your source destination using a standard Cat5, Cat6 cable. Let's take a closer look. So I have a location in my basement with an Xbox and a cable receiver and things like that hooked up to a TV and everything works great. Now the problem is we also have another TV at the other end of the house and an entire floor up. We'd like to be able to play the Xbox up there from time to time, watch the cable box up there from time to time, and use an Android box, things like that, anything we may have in the basement. But what we don't want to do is have to choose whether or not we put it in the basement, we put it upstairs, we move it back and forth. Essentially, we'd just like to be able to get the video up there and watch it upstairs from time to time. Now, I looked at HDMI cables, and there are some solutions out there with really super long cables, but the problem is that A, they're super expensive, and B, the size of the cable itself, the thickness of the cable and the thickness of the HDMI ends on them are going to make it really, really difficult, if not impossible, for me to run it through the ceilings, up through a wall, and get it to the TV upstairs. This is an HDMI extender over a Cat5 cable. So for those of you who don't know, a Cat5 cable, Cat6 cable, is the same type of cable you'd use for your internet. This can be purchased in pre-made cables uh, with fairly small ends on it, but you can also get this in a roll of cable, super cheap, um, 500, 1000 feet, whatever you think you're going to need. Um, I always have one on hand. I also have the separate little ends which are super easy to put on these so that you can actually run the cable without the ends on them. That allows you to drill a really small hole through your walls or through your floor joists in order to get it up to the location you need to be and thus makes it much easier to do than say running an HDMI cable in which you can't put a new end on it. In the box today we have six basic components. We have ourselves an HDMI extender. This is the device that's going to go in the basement. It has a spot for the Cat6, Cat5 cable to plug in, a 5 volt power supply, an IR extender, and it has two HDMI ports on the back. And what that does is allow us to plug in one HDI, HDMI source from whatever device we want. It allows us to go HDMI out to a local TV or monitor. And then on the other end, we're going to put a very similar looking box, although this one has only a Cat5 cable receiver, which will get the other end of that Cat5, a power supply, an IR in or IR from that location, and it has one single HDMI out port, which is going to go to the TV located upstairs. Now, it also comes with two 5-volt power supplies and the IR solution. I can actually send IR signals from a standard remote control all the way down through the Cat5 cable to the basement, where this IR blaster will retransmit them back out to control the device. On top of that, it comes with a little bit of 3M tape in order to stick those guys on a standard user manual, um, and like I said, the two power supplies. The device they sent me today can do up to 164 feet, that's 50 meters. They do have other devices that can go even longer distances. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up and see if it works. So here I am, I'm in the basement. As you can see, I've got my cable box, my game consoles, things like that here. So what I've done is I've taken the cable from the cable box and I have plugged the HDMI cable into the HDMI input on the transmitter device. That's the one with two HDMI ports on it. The second one, the HDMI out, I have plugged into another HDMI cable that goes directly to the local TV. On the other side, I have the IR output. This guy here, I'm going to stick right to the front of the cable box, like this, and I have my 5 volt power supply. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and plug in the end of the Cat5 cable that I have run to the TV upstairs. I'm going to put that in there. Now with all that plugged in, I'm going to take my cable box remote and turn on the TV, and turn on the cable box, and sure enough, we now have TV in the basement. Let's head upstairs and see what's working there. A 
Okay, I'm upstairs now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the IR receiver. This is what will receive the IR signals to send them to the downstairs TV and control the cable box. Has the little end on it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable that goes to the back of the TV here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Cat5 cable that runs from the basement to this TV. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the DC5 volts. Again, this is just a small little box. You can see how simple it is. We're gonna put that down here, and let's take a look. Okay, so I've got the remote from downstairs. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the TV. Hopefully we see some cable. And there we are. So, super simple. We can use the remote and making sure that the IR receiver can see us. And let's see. And sure enough, there's the guide that comes up. And we can go up and change channels. Let's see. And there we go. Now, as far as I can hear, audio is working good. And everything that I could do in the basement works here. So I could use this for any of my HDMI devices. Anything that has an HDMI output can be transmitted this way over a single Cat5 cable, which is super easy to run through your house. Uh, also, you have the ability to use remote control, and if you're using a game console, most of them nowadays have, re have wireless controllers that can be used from a different room in your house. You're just going to want to test those out and make sure the range is good before you go ahead and set it all up. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this today. Hopefully this is something that's going to help you out with your project. I now have the ability to have a cable box down in the basement. Go upstairs and watch that cable box with the remote control. Uh, even my Xbox works fine. I was able to take them upstairs. The controllers themselves work wirelessly, so that worked fine. And the Xbox is down in the basement. So it gives me the ability to have it on both TVs at the same time.